Nostradamus saw in his future three men that he called antichrists. One was Napoleon, the second one was Hitler, and the third one is the one that is to come, who is said to be the worst of all because he will learn from the mistakes of the others. A very dangerous person. He didn't like the term antichrist. He said it was a Christian term and it was not exactly what he meant. But he said, if you think of Christ as representing people, humanity, then antichrist is someone who does terrible things against humanity, against people. And it can be the type of personality like Genghis Khan or Attila the Hun, the type that doesn't care anything about what it's doing, it only wants power. So this is what he meant by an antichrist. But the third one, he gave us a great deal of information about him because he wanted us to do something to stop the man. He said, in the Bible, in the book of Revelation and other books in the Old Testament, the people saw the same things that he saw, the prophets did. They only put them in their symbolism they could understand in their time, but they all saw the same thing. And that the man he refers to as the Antichrist is the number 666 in the book of Revelation, called the Beast. Of course, he said 666 also refers to his connections with computers. So there's a lot more to it. But he has been predicted as far back as Bible times. So he said he has a destiny to fulfill. He has to come, but after he comes, what happens after that is in the hands of mankind. Do we allow it to go through the worst case scenarios or can we lessen it? That's the point. But the man is alive now and he has his destiny to fulfill. Uh, we were given a lot of information about this man because he is so important. We have his horoscope. He was born on February the 4th, 1962 in Jerusalem, but he's not Jewish. And uh, his parents were killed during the Israeli war and when he was about six or seven years old, and he was raised by his uncle. His uncle is a very evil man, and we have had many people see him, and we have, uh, in, in my work, and uh, we had one woman who was able to put together a police composite picture of the uncle and of the Antichrist. She was a psychic who had worked with police on many cases, so she knew how to do the police composite kits. But the uncle, took the young boy and was raising him as his own. What the young boy doesn't know was that the uncle had his parents killed so he could have him for his own. And he has gotten together a very powerful group of rich Arabs in the Middle East. And they've been taking care of this young boy and grooming him for the role he is to take. It's a very powerful group of people that control everything that happens in the Middle East. They're the puppet masters behind the scenes. Nostradamus said, by the time seven puppets arise in the Middle East, you will realize what is happening, that they are not the real leaders of the countries, but they are the puppets being manipulated by the puppet masters behind the scenes. The young Antichrist went to college in uh, Egypt, and he, we were working on this at the same time he was in college, so we were shown several scenes of him in college. We knew where he was living. We had all this information. His uh, main courses that he took were economics, philosophy, and computers. The computers were going to be very important in his future that he was planning. But after he got out of college, he lived on the different estates of these very rich people. He has no home of his own, but travels around to the different estates. And uh, we saw him once on the, in a the big estate on the bank of, banks of the Nile, and another one uh, in Syria, and in Oman during the Gulf War, Oman is to the bottom of Saudi Arabia. So we saw him in all of these places during the Gulf War, and he's traveled around from place to place. But um, well, Nostradamus said, you must remember, you must remember that this, in the beginning, this man will appear as a savior, the man with all the answers, the man with the golden tongue. And this will how he will make his conquests in the beginning. But he said, you must remember he's not what he appears to be. He's the wolf in sheep's clothing. Because by the time people realize what is happening, then the, everything you know, will, become, it will all come out. We were told in 1995, if you were watching, you'd become aware of these people and what they are doing. And uh, of course, I get lots of mail from people trying to tell me who they think the, the Antichrist is. 
But a lot of the people they have told me about, I think, are members of the group. They're very rich, but I don't think they are the Antichrist because they don't fit all of the other criteria.